What made the original Rise of the Triad so awesome was that it was so insanely ludicrous. You had jibs everywhere, the speed was insanely fast paced, it was just ridiculous. And what we want to do with our game is bring that thing back. We want the game to be fast paced, we want to reintroduce all these awesome weapons and we just wanted to make it like ridiculously gory. The challenge was to create something that is interesting to both the original players but also interesting to people who haven't played the original Rise of the Triad, who are new to the franchise. So at the beginning of the project we did a lot of research, we played the game a lot, we played the levels over and over again, made lots of notes like, you know, what worked, what do we think didn't work and how could we improve on it. No! Don't shoot! No! No! Please! It's kind of crazy, you know? Not only are we bringing it back, but we're doing it with guys that worked on the original game, guys that modded the original game, and this brand new generation of game designers. So we've got three generations of game development all working on one title, and it's kind of created this, this perfect situation for us. So uh, for the level design, we, um, we took a look uh, at the original design because, of course, we wanted to keep like, our design as close to the original design as uh, possible. But at the same time, we wanted to remove a lot of the, the clutter, the, the mazy corridors, and instead make a more clean design that was supposed to like keep the momentum going for the player rather than the player stopping up and actually not knowing what to do. Apogee was great at helping us. They gave us some of their key team members on Rise of the Triad to help us out on the remake. And the best part was we were given the creative freedom to take the original design to the next level and create a game we would want to play today. We set out to mix some of today's modern gameplay techniques and visuals and combine that with the innovative and ridiculous design from Rise of the Triad and see what we could come up with. So the original Rise of the Triad has some legendary weapons. We all know the bazooka, the flame wall, the firebomb. What we did in the reboot was that we wanted to introduce all the weapons again, but we also wanted to add secondary fire modes to it. So one great example is that the Heat Seeker now has a small camera. And this camera actually lets you follow the rocket all the way to its target. You know, when you're rebooting a game with such a cult following, you have to get the hardcore fans involved. And it's awesome that we've been able to do that and get their feedback throughout the development process. We're taking the, the original ROT game and then refining it into a, a game that is a modern game. I think both old school players and new school players are going to really enjoy what we have in store for them.